Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video about um, a category within the wireless, the very large wireless audio systems market that I think is, um, it seems like a relatively tight part of the market in the sense that uh, there aren't a ton of options there and not a lot of discussion about it. So I thought I'd show some of the products that fulfill this space. And this space is a plug-in XLR receiver. So in other words, um, if you have a camcorder and this is what I shoot with, and I think for camcorder folk, these are probably the, the intended market and the ENG people uh, for this kind of system because typically <clears throat> other things that are used commonly today as camera, video cameras, namely DSLR and mirrorless, don't typically have XLR imports, uh, inputs. Uh, so therefore the only way you can use an XLR receiver with them is to have a uh, you know 3.5 to XLR adapter, which do exist, but why would you wanna go to the bother? Therefore, you know, stuff like the Rode uh, Wireless uh, Go Pro, I always get that name wrong, are uh, very popular or a lot more popular than these systems because they can be used with anything. Now, the reason I wanted, I was trying to explain on Reddit why I was specifically looking for uh, this kind of a product was because as a camcorder user, it's not that you can terminate anything in 3.5, but the beauty to me of having an, a plug-in XLR receiver is actually all to do with ergonomics and the gain control. Uh, the fact that on the on my camcorder, the XA40, all those gain control switches are hardware switches on the XLR panel. So if you if you have something that plugs straight into that, you don't need any adapters. You can just plug it into one of the XLR inputs, and then you can play around with everything else by hand. No, you don't need to touch the receiver at all. So as I said, the the, the Rode Wireless Go 2 is a hugely popular wireless system and if you have a you know DSLR or mirrorless that's great but so let me show you how I found uh, the various options that I did find uh, firstly B&H have a terrific website for doing product research on and they have within the wireless systems category which is a big category as you can see there is 1263 different systems listed so if you want to really drill down into and find this type of a system you can look for filter on receiver type and you can see you have a plug-in, the, the most popular, which is probably the eighth or 3.5 mil, the quarter inch, the 6.35 mil, uh, they even have Bluetooth and lightning port, but you wanna click on plug-in XLR, plug-in XLR receivers. And this is actually gonna miss a few, but it'll just give you an idea for what's on the market. So here's one type of XLR plug-in receiver that's, uh, that is quite popular. And that is as uh, you know stuff like the X Vive Audio UC3, and these this is designed. The transmitter is also a plug-in, and basically these are used with interview microphones. So this has become very popular in uh, ENG and news gathering. That you'll see the talent is holding a wireless mic. Now I've noticed that stations use both um, built-in microphones. That you know it's kind of an out-of-the-box set. The transmitter is built in. That's a bit more discreet because you can't see anything. This is quite discreet, but then they put these, and I think this is actually kind of a dumb thing for that reason, they put these big flashy LED lights on, so it's kind of a little bit harder to disguise it as part of the microphone. Um, <clears throat> this is available both, and one of the benefits of this particular product, the X Vive Audio UC, U3C, the C stands for condenser microphones, um, and that's because it provides phantom power 48 volt, it's got a switch. Not all, and there's a few products, uh, copycat products or products exactly like this, this basically plug-in type XLR system. Um, there are many and most actually don't supply phantom power. So this one has a model that does and that doesn't, the X5 Audio UC3 does. So the, with the addition of phantom power, you could, um, for example, use this with perhaps a uh, shotgun microphone that needed phantom, uh, run the receiver into your camcorder and that would give you a wireless uh, booming kit. Now there's a lot of people who don't like the idea of wireless booming but you could achieve it with something of this nature. Next product to show you guys is the, right, so here's another notable product in this smaller product category, the Saramonic UW Mic 9. Now, Saramonic, like Boya and all these brands are the kind of go-tos for folks like me who aren't monetizing their video, but we want some decent sound, um, but we don't have the $900 to spend on the super high-end wireless audio gear from the likes of uh, Sennheiser. 
So I don't own this, uh, just to be clear, but I have watched reviews and people seem pretty happy with it. And this is again, one of those rare products in this category. This is a receiver and you can see it's got an XLR receiver. Now the common engineering on all of these um, kits is that the XLR receiver is rotatable. So that's a really big advantage. It means that you, know, you, can, you can rotate it to wherever makes sense. You can see the controls and that's out of frame for your particular camcorder. And this particular one comes with a body pack type transmitter. It costs $328 from B&H. Price may be slightly different uh, elsewhere. So that's pretty much all I could find here. They sell larger two-person kits for a bit more money, as you'd expect. Um, but it didn't quite capture everything. So I manually dragged up a couple more options. Here is the big uh, expensive option here, right? This is the Sennheiser. Uh, Omni Lav system 1.9 gigahertz. You can see the transmitter is again a body pack. They give you a lav and the receiver. If I can, if they have it in one of their product photos, I'm sure they do. Yep, the receiver is going to be a uh, direct plug in. So, again, this is one of the few products on the market that are plug in XLR receivers. Um, and that is, uh, but it is a $750. Uh, kit uh, for these two, but you can see the average ratings are 4.5 out of 5. So when you spend that much money, you buy a brand like Sennheiser, I think you're very unlikely to be disappointed. So if this particular plug-in uh, model appeals to you, the, the, the one advantage of these interchangeable systems like the UW Mic 9 series from Saramonic is that you can use different parts together. So if you come back to the uh, the X-Vibes audio system, right, the interview setup, so you plug this into your dynamic mic, so in, within the UW Mic 9 system, there is one of those that can do 48 volt. And it's because it's in the Saramonic UW Mic 9 family, it can be used with this receiver. So that's one advantage of sticking with one of these wireless system families where the products can talk to one another. Um, there is one that, that I, this is one I purchased being, you know, what can I say? The, uh, the budget constraint or rather trying to spread my investment in video stuff wisely i found this through searching aliexpress and i gave up on the idea of finding anything uh even cheaper than the saramonic and even that was uh that was difficult to source to where i live in israel so i eventually find find this um from the boya store and it basically looks to me like a copycat of the saramonic or one i don't know who copied the other but it's the same idea i think it's actually the same parent company it does have uh, plug-in batteries I'm not sure if the Saramonic does, but it's $150 and it's exactly the same. You can see there's a body pack transmitter and there's that XLR that plugs straight into the uh, camcorder. I'm going to actually just zoom up to this guy if I can. I cannot. Um, and uh, again, it's rotatable XLR, so you can swivel that around to wherever uh, suits you best on your camcorder. So those are the options I found to recap if you're looking, if you, if you like the kind of body pack and plug in XLR receiver system. There is at the cheap end of the market, there's the Boya BYW89, WM8 Pro 7, 48 uh, UHF dual channel uh, for ENG or film work. Then we have the um, Saramonic UW Mic 9. Um, I think there's a newer product, sorry, the newer product is black um, surrounded here. The older product is yellow, so just be careful that you're ordering the latest one if you can. That's $328 from uh, B&H Photo Video. Uh, you have these dual interview uh, systems. Um, this is just one of many. And then uh, finally, at the top end of the market here, we have the Sennheiser AVX ME2, um, which is a uh, lav going into a body pack and then a plug-in XLR receiver. Uh, that product is priced at $750 from B&H Photo Video. Hope this roundup of the options was useful. Thanks for watching.